So I'm back with another Korean video and today I'm going to talk about some Korean words that you probably already know. Uh, by which I mean once you figure out how the word is pronounced, you suddenly understand what it means. Uh, the best thing I can do is give an example with the first one I ever came across. Um, now I've put the letters up here that we're going to need to refer to. So we have got here a R and an A, put the vowels over this side. Uh, then we've got a D and an E. And finally, oh, I need to explain if, there, if a syllable starts with a vowel, uh, it needs to have this silent holder in front of it. So this is a silent holder for the vowel O. So putting it together, it says radio. Radio. And of course that means radio. And I was so excited when I first found this out. Uh, so, and since then I've come across quite a few others. So I'll share some everyday items. Then I've got some place names and then I've got some brand names. So let's go with the next one. Uh, we've got a K and an A, then a M, there's M there, and an E, and finally a RA, the same as this RA here. So camera. Camera. Yeah, it's a camera. Um, okay, P, A, so we've got P, A, T, E is P, Patty. It could be Patty. I know it sounds like it could be Patty, but it's not, it's actually Party. Party. Yeah. Um, right. It's been a few weeks actually since I made this presentation, so I'm coming to it a bit fresh as well. Put E. Ah, oh, yeah, I know this one. Uh, silent holder for an A, uh, and then we've got a N and an O. Piano. 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 This one we've got a P, an E, and a N. Yeah. So three sounds together in one syllable. Pen. Pen. Nice. Okay, I've brought in a few more letters up the top there, uh, now that we're going to need. Okay, this is a great one. Uh, we've got two vowels, one after the other. We've got an A and an E, and they kind of glide together to make the diphthong I. I. Then we have a S on its own and an U sound. This happens quite a lot with um, English words that have been borrowed into Korean. They kind of put the um, consonant followed by an U sound. So this is just I S, and then we've got it, the same thing again with the K and U I S K. Here we've got R E N, and you probably guessed by now. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> nice. Okay. K O L. Oh yeah, I should say sometimes this R sounds like a L at the end of, well, at the start or end of a uh, syllable. R, L is quite a similar sound really. It's just represented by the same letter in Korean. So that's kol and la is cola. Cola. Okay, just a single sound on its own. So we've got the silent followed by, oh, this is quite clever, the a. If you add an extra line, it becomes ya, and the e, if you add an extra line, becomes ye. So this is literally just the sound ye, which means ye or yes. Ye. Yeah. Now, here's another example. I've got the ya coming in. So I've got a s and a ya, and oh, yeah, we've got a silent holder, and here's a double vowel. So it's like the u and an o, shall, and together they say wa. So this says shower. And when I came across this, I was like, I really hope that means shower. And it does. Shower. Then, okay, p, e, ng. Oh, yeah. Now I need to tell you, if this circle comes at the end of a syllable, then it's not silent, it's a ng sound. So that says peng. Here we have a g, another double vowel. So we've got an u and an e, so a we and a n to finish with. So this is penguin. Penguin. Yeah, of course it's a penguin. Right, on to some place names. So this, we've got a s and an o. Here we've got a silent holder for the u and we end with a l character. So this so ul, it is soul. Soul. 
this one's beautiful because um, you see these two M's at the bottom here? I really didn't realize how well this word rhymes. So it is a L, O, N and a D, O, N, London. London. It gave me a new appreciation for London, really, because in my own accent, London sounds like London. It doesn't really rhyme, but in Korean, it does London. This is a good one. Uh, per a r e i uh, is Paris, but it's pronounced like the French way. Paris. Now we have, oh yeah, I need to say the d can sometimes sound like a t. So that's a t in this case, t, o, um, here's a k, and a yo. So Tokyo, Tokyo. Tokyo. And the last one in this category, a n and a u. I love this one. A silent for a yo and a k at the end. Yeah, the g can sometimes sound like a k. So it's New York. New York. Ah, New York. Finally, some brand names. Um, this is a Korean brand. I didn't actually realize that was a Korean brand until it came up. Um, but it's a se a m se o n Samsung. Samsung. And a little bonus fact about uh, Samsung. The word Samsung in Korean means tri-star, three-star. And once upon a time, some people might remember Samsung had a logo with three stars in it. So that's what that was about. Now, another Korean brand, this one, we have a H and a Y. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is it? A H. Yo. Yeah. Yo. N. And then a D. And this is an E character. So this says Hyonde. Hyonde. I believe when I hear English people talk about it, they say Hyundai, something like that, but it looks like the correct pronunciation is Hyundai. This one is definitely not a Korean company. It is a S and a T and an A and a B O K and another S. Sutaboxu. Sutaboxu. Can you guess what it is? Starbucks. Okay, m, e, k, uh, d, o, mcdo, n, a, l, d, e, mcdonald's. You might be able to guess by now. Mcdonald's. Mcdonald's. And a d, u. This is the u sound, silent for an o. Now we've got a l, i, n, and a g, o. So it is Duolingo. It is literally Duolingo in Korean. Duolingo. Yeah. And that is it. But let me finish with a list of all the words that we've looked at in this little video, plus a few extras in there as well. So if you want to have a go, uh, all the letters that you will need are at the top and I'll put the answers up in a moment. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any uh, other examples, either in Korean or any other language, where you kind of work out first how to pronounce it, and then you know what the word means, put them down in the comments, because I'd love to read and learn more. Great. Answers coming up just now.